everyone. Welcome to the series of data analysis using Excel. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform one sample t-test in Excel and its interpretation. You can find more videos on SPSS, R Studio, Econometrics, Mathematical Economics and Economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's begin with the idea of one sample t-test. One sample t-test is used to uh, check whether we have the significant difference between sample mean and given population mean. So here I have the hypothetical data of 18 students and their marks out of 30. Now I want to check whether this data is generated from the population having uh, mean marks of 14. So this 14 is given population mean. 14 is given population mean which is known as mu. And therefore we can uh, perform one sample t-test. So what is our uh, null hypothesis in this case? The null hypothesis says that H0 is equal to mu is equal to 14. An alternative hypothesis is mu is not equal to 14. That is population mean is significantly different from 14. Now there is no direct command to uh, perform the one sample t test and therefore we need to calculate it manually. So what is the formula of t statistic? So t statistic is equal to x bar minus mu upon s under root n. So therefore we need these values. Value of x bar, mu, s that is standard deviation and n is sample size. So first we are going to find the value of sample mean. So the command is average and then you select the range. This is sample mean. Population mean is given that is 14. Then we find standard deviation. The command or the function is stdev and then select the range. So this is our standard deviation, sample size is 18. From sample size, we can find the degree of freedom, which is n minus 1. So that is 17. And now we want root n, that is square root. Square root of n, which is equal to sqrt. And then select the. So now we have x bar, mu, s and under root n. So therefore, we can find the t statistic which is equal to x bar minus mu. This is numerator divided by the denominator that is sample size in bracket the standard deviation divided by square root of sample size. So this is t statistic. Now we need to find the p value to decide whether we are going to reject the null hypothesis or not. That can be done by using T distribution. So T D I S T. First, we are going to select the T statistic. Then comma, then we have degree of freedom. Comma. We are interested in two tail test and therefore we are going to write two. If you want to use one tail test, you can write one. Close the bracket. Again, what is t-distribution command? First, you select the t-statistic, uh, then degree of freedom, and then either one or two, depending upon the uh, choice of your test, whether you go for one tail test or two tail test, and simply enter. Now, we compare this. We compare this value with our level of significance, that is alpha. We compare this value with level of 
significance. So by default, the level of significance is 0 0.05. Now we know that this value is less than 0 0.05. Since this value is less than 0 0.05, we reject H0. And if we reject the H0, that means mu is not equal to 14. We reject the H0 and therefore mu is not equal to 14. So this is how we perform one sample t-test in Excel. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.